Let the parade of PTI Super Bowl guests begin. Starting with our great friend from both Football Night in America, Football Morning in America, Mr. Peter King. What's the matter? You don't have Football Afternoon in America wearing your Ohio <laughs> University alma mater shirt. Here we go, Peter. First question. We will get to the Super Bowl in a moment. But Tom Brady told Jim Gray last night, and I'm quoting here, never say never with regard to maybe playing again. In your mind, do you think there's any chance that Tom Brady could actually play football again? I think there's a chance, but I think Brady was just trying to answer the question honestly. How does he know how he's going to feel in six months? As of right now, he doesn't think he's going to play. What events will conspire five, six, seven months from now to maybe make him want to play or for some coach he loves to call him and say, come and play? Who knows? All I know is that Philip Rivers opened the door, and then when the Saints called, he said no. Drew Brees never really opened the door, but when the Saints called, he said no, too. So I doubt we'll see Brady playing again. All right, one guy we know we're going to see playing again is Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow, who I heard people compare to Brady this morning, which made me want to throw up. But, Peter, you have covered the league a million years, and you've spent some time with Burrow. Give us some actual... Context. There's so much hype. Give us some perspective on Burrow, the player and the guy. Mike, I think the best thing you can say about Joe Burrow is that nothing really bothers him. It was about three months and or three years and ten months ago where Urban Meyer sent him packing. He picked Dwayne Haskins over Burrow at Ohio State. Burrow had to go hit the road to find somewhere to play. I maintain that's one of the best things that happened to him because he, it toughened him up. And even though he was already a tough kid, it toughened him up. He went to LSU, played a better brand of offensive football at LSU than he would have played in the Big Ten. It made him better. And now I think, Michael, what, what I see when I see Joey, Joe Burrow is I see a young guy who's not phased by anything sack him nine times he'll get back in the huddle and says guys we're fine i heard that after he got sacked either the eighth or ninth time at tennessee he just said hey don't worry guys we're okay and that's why the guys around the bengals love playing for him he's not going to be cowed by walking into a situation like he like he will sunday in los angeles after walking into tuscaloosa you know, pillaging Nick Saban's offense <laughs> after going 3-0 and in the, in the playoffs this year, I, I think he's going to handle the situation pretty well. So you think he's going to handle Aaron Donald and that Rams defense pretty well, too? If anything is going to rattle you, you would think in that game, that defense, Von Miller, too, could do that. But it sounds like you don't think that'll happen. Well, I think it very well could because it's one thing to be cool about getting hit it's another thing to have enough time to do what you want to do and i would expect that the cincinnati offense that that what zach uh you know what what zach taylor and the coaching staff is going to set up is the ability to use the tight end and shorter routes by the wideouts to get the ball out of burrow's hands faster all right, we'll get you out of here on this. You picked the Rams to win the Super Bowl in the preseason, proving that great minds think alike. Because although I didn't pick them to win the Super Bowl, I picked them to get in the Super Bowl the day they made the trade for Matthew Stafford and Wilbon screamed at me and said I was an idiot and who's laughing now. So we're both with the Rams. Do you see them winning this game? Are you sticking with them through this game? I will pick the Rams if the defensive front can really disrupt and upset Joe Burrow and his timing and his ability to hit his receivers. But I think if that offensive line, maybe even using uh, an extra blocker occasionally, if that offensive line holds up, I like the Bengals. So I don't mean to be wishy-washy, but I'm just telling you that if Burrow gets the crap beat out of him, I'm not saying he's not going to be able to make some plays and play well. But I think the most important factor in this game 
is the Cincinnati offensive line, how it's going to play against Von Miller, Aaron Donald, and their friends. Spoken like a true son of Ohio University, going with the Ohio kid. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.